Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your problems as well as mains. So in this video we will be talking about our current affair MCQ series in which what we do, we daily discuss your MCQs from current affair perspective. So today is 14 November so let's see uh, what are the questions for today. The first question is consider the following statement about right to information act, uh, sorry, right to information act 2005. First the act makes it mandatory for a public authority to reveal specific information asked from it by any interested citizen of India. Second the constitutional bodies are not covered by the act. So we have to choose that which of the above statements is are correct. So friends, yes, first statement is correct. So uh, any public authority uh, uh, to which information is asked by the citizen of India, uh, the, that public authority must reveal that information uh, to bring in. Uh, so this act basically aims to bring in transparency in government functioning. So regarding second statement friends, second statement is incorrect because constitutional bodies are covered by it and in fact recently the Supreme Court has held that RTI is equally applicable to the Supreme Court of India uh, which is a public body, uh, public authority and also to the office of CGI who is part and parcel of uh, this Supreme Court which is a public authority. So he is also a public authority and he is bound by the CGI office is also bound by the transparency principle. But then uh, also court also held that uh, this uh, transparency must not be uh, used as a tool to do surveillance and uh, there must not be any compromisation of the uh, of the uh, we can say uh, of, of the independence of judiciary so the answer is uh, a that is one only so uh, this is more detailed so uh, question is framed in the context of recently uh, uh, held constitutional bench decision of supreme court who ruled that uh, uh, cj can be construed to as public authority for the purposes of RTA Act 2005. Now let's move on to the next question. Next is consider the following statements about Green Climate Fund. First, the fund aims to support climate resilient projects which help in dealing with climate change and adaptation to it in developing countries. Re uh, second is recently India has got $43 million under the fund to boost climate resilience in three coastal states in partnership with the United Nations Development Program. So friends, let me tell you that both of these statements are correct. So Green Environment uh, Facility, is, uh, Green Environment Fund is basically created for this uh, to, to, in uh, to ensure that there must be climate uh, finance so uh, it aims to support climate resilient projects that deal uh, that help in uh, dealing with the climate change as well as adaptation and uh, also recently india has got 43 million dollar under the project to, uh, 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 to to develop climate resilience in three coastal states of that of andhra pradesh odisha and one more state is there uh, i'm not able to recall its name so the solution is c both one and two so uh, basically uh, this uh, uh, these three coastal states are Andhra, Maharashtra and Odisha. So one po uh, it is uh, it is being contended that uh, uh, by this uh, project uh, the climate resilient livelihoods uh, will be will be kind of we can say promoted which will help more than 1.7 people in a million people in Andhra, Maharashtra and Odisha. So more details you can read by pausing the video because here uh, reading each and every point will consume a lot of time. Now let's move to the next question. Next is Pamba Achankovil uh, Viper River interlinking, interlinking project concerns which of these states? So friends the answer is uh, uh, this uh, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. So uh, there has been a proposed uh, uh, interlinking of rivers which has been opposed by Kerala because it says that it has not that much of uh, water that it can share with other states. So solution is B it is a uh, Kerala statement government is saying that it is taking all precautions to prevent the implementation of uh, 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 Pamba Achankovil Vipar river link project so issue is basically Pamba Achankovil is to be connected uh, uh, which is in basically uh, they will be connected with Vipar river in Tamil Nadu under the interlinking of river projects so Kerala, uh, Kerala exerts that it has no excess water in uh, rivers in the state so more details you can read by pausing the video and there are also here we have discussed the need for interlinking of rivers. So actually my health is not quite well today so I am not going into that much detail of each uh, explanation. So once uh, um, health is good uh, I will be explaining all those things uh, like earlier. So you can pause the video and can read. 
now let's move on to the next question next is uh, oh sorry next is recently bhim upi has gone international with its launch in a germany b switzerland c singapore d indonesia so friends uh, the answer is c singapore so recently the bhim upi has gone international with the with the operations launched in singapore as well uh, so uh, more details are that bhim app has gone international with the pilot demo of bhim upi qr based payments beginning at the ongoing singapore fintech festival 2019 so uh, bhim is basically a bharat interface for interface for money is a up based payment interface and it is developed by national payment corporation of india and uh, it all uh, it allows real time uh, 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 time fund transfer so then uh, this uh, uh, upi is basically a unified payments interface it is a system that uh, pow that powers multiple bank accounts into a single mobile application of any participating bank merging several banking features seamless fund routing and merchant payments into one board so more details you can read by pausing the video now let's move to the next question uh, that is the last question of the day uh, that is fifth question so explanation has gone quite long so uh, fifth question is consider the following statements about recently released uh, report of lancet titled countdown on health and climate change first as temperatures uh, temperatures rise and fans will bear the greatest burden of malnutrition and raising food prices second is there is also rise uh, there, there, there is also rise in infection in infectious diseases among children due to climate change so we have to choose that which of the above statements is are correct let me tell you friends that both of these statements are correct so as temperature rises uh, there is a risk of infants falling uh, 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 short of uh, the adequate food that they must get so they will suffer from the pro pro they could suffer from the problem of malnutrition uh, because temperature rise also decreases the yield and then temperature rise also makes the climate suitable for uh, uh, for uh, vector vectors that uh, that cause uh, cholera and all other diseases uh, among children so second is also correct so both of these statements are correct so the answer is c both one and two so uh, report is titled countdown on health and climate change so report is a comprehensive yearly analysis tracking progress across 41 key indicators so you can check the details by pausing the video so uh, more details obviously you can check by uh, by pausing video because here it will consume lot of time to discuss all these things so friends this is all about today's video So if you like this discussion then do ensure that you like it share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel and lastly we have a, a website which is www.chyes.com.in on uh, which you can visit and can have access to various public resources that we have for the purpose of csc preparation and you can also join our public telegram channel where we have more than 14000 subscribers and uh, uh, they are linked with us uh, through this platform and uh, Uh, uh you can also be part of them so this is all about today's video thank you have a very nice day ahead